guys, it's Jesus Modded, and today I have a, another Cinema 4D tutorial for you. This time, even though we're still using Throwsy, I'm going to show you a little bit different thing that you can do with your text. Um, instead of just exploding it, you can make it explode into another word or an object, etc. Also, uh, first off, we're going to open up our Cinema 4D, and right here, I have um, our example. Please note that when I play this, my computer. Uh, the laptop that I'm currently recording on until I get a new one is only a single core unlike my PC over there which is a dual core even though it's still not too hot so when I have Cinema 4D open doing this it kills it completely uh, but let's see if we can go on and play so um, we have our distant gamers oh man that is bad <laughs> but as you can see it explodes it. Oh my goodness! And the uh, their shards go flying out everywhere, and it's gradually swapping over words. I'm sorry, that is just hideous. Nearly done. Let's get to about here. You can see where distant gamers just coming through, or the word gamers just coming out, and the shards of distant is still breaking up. <laughs> So here it's just about all completely broken up, and if we do a quick, quick render out, that's what you'll see. So let's go on, then I'll show you how to do it. Uh, I'm gonna open up a new project. Um, I'm just gonna go on and make my materials first because I like to get that out of the way. Uh, for the floor, I'm gonna make something close to black, but not all the way there. I'll just leave it at that. Then uh, for this tutorial, just like that part, I'm going to make a solid black. Um, I'm going to add a reflection for now. 20% and 0% there. That looks nice. Uh, aluminum tone black isn't really going to do any good, so but let's just slap it on anyways. I'm going to grab yellow, go to color. Oh, we're going to make this yellow, I mean. There we go. Uh, we're not going to use luminance because it just makes y the yellow color really ugly. Make brightness zero until we open up our Fresnel. And that's going to be 20. And that should be good. Uh, and then we're going to open up our first mo text. Then we'll make it say uh, tutorial. <laughs> now we'll go with distant gamers distant and we're going to make the font Xyrod because well using this as, uh, as our channel font it generally looks alright and we're going to make the depth 50 and we're going to change the size to about 1 want 15 and that should do good of course put it in the middle I'm going to just uh, control click and drag this down to create a copy and change this to gamers okay I'm gonna make the second one just 105 reduce the size a little bit I'll come around it looks really jumbled up of course but we have both of our things right there and if you watched the last tutorial I told you that the first color or material that you put onto your text is th that will be inside of the text when it's broken. So let's see. Let's, let me name them. Okay, that's distant. This is gamers. So we're gonna on distant. We're gonna or gamers. We're gonna drop black down first for that to be on the inside, and then we're gonna drop yellow on it. And for distant, we're gonna drop. Actually, we're gonna drop yellow first. My bad you can just basically move it over to the side I don't know. this is just what it looks like when it renders out it's kinda ugly so let's go on and open up our uh, highlight both of them plugins Thrasy. Uh definitely not that control Z my bad Thrasy. for annoy I'm gonna use 10 pieces 
randomize and break now and I must have not highlighted them let's try this again um, this will take a couple seconds so bear with me Alright guys, we're back and now it's done. It just took about a minute and a half. Uh, so we're going to close that and this looks incredibly messy, of course. <laughs> so let me show you a quick way that you can fix that. Alright, what you're going to want to do is go to MoGraph, Fracture. Actually, let's make two of them, Fracture. Find your first word. Mine is going to be Distant move that into one of your fractures and we're going to name this to fracture D fold that down highlight the rest of them move it into your other fracture and I'm going to make this fracture G and the first what you're going to want to do is open up either one Oops, you don't need to highlight the body tags my bad I'm just going to highlight all of those. Don't highlight the fracture. Make sure that's darkened. I'm going to do delete without children. And I'll just expand all of the pieces. Now it may look like a lot, but you want to leave them as it is. And then you're going to do the same thing with G. So delete without children. And there you go. <clears throat> and you can explode segments under a fracture object just a heads up this may not be the most effective way or the fastest way to do this but this is the way I do it and whenever I do it comes out just fine okay so we have that we're gonna highlight 1D and we're gonna open up an effector plane and then fracture G MoGraph effector plane now both of these I'm going to take the core, the basic, uh, okay, where is it? There it is, parameter. Go to zero centimeters, so it'll lower it back down. On both of them, fall off should be uh, linear. I'm just going to leave that as it is. And if you go to parameter, this is important, so make sure you pay attention here. Click scale, uniform scale, and make that minus one. Now, most of your text is just going to disappear here, so it looks a little trashy. The way to fix this is go to your rotation, make this negative 90. And now you can see where it's coming together. And if you figure out which plane is going to be, uh, you're going to want to invert one of the planes, depending on which one is on which word. So if we try this one here, this is the right one. So the plane that you put on fracture G, just hit invert. All right, we're gonna group these real quick. Uh, Alt G. Just gonna name this effectors. Open that up, so we'll be doing a lot with this. And we're gonna highlight both of these again. MoGraph effectors, and we're gonna do a random effector. And that'll throw everything out. Let's move this and drop down into effectors. We're gonna make this spherical under shape under fall off. And that's good. May always make the fall off 100% because otherwise it just it does not look good if you see the pieces just go everywhere. The lower you get, so 100% makes it smooth and clean. Effector or parameter, uh, you can make these whichever one you make these is how it's gonna look in the final product. So let's just make this around. Uh, I don't know. Let's make it 90. 92. I don't want to be anything precise. To make this around 42 and 67, maybe that'll look good. So we highlight these three. Just drag them across, and you'll see where they're kind of coming together. Okay. Hey guys, I'm going to cut in right here. I realized I went over the time, so I'm adding an extra track. 
uh, we will resume this as soon as I can upload the second part, so stay tuned.